I am Aydin Balcıoğlu, a volunteer at Belmont Media Center. Welcome to another Gallery at BMC. Gallery at BMC is happy to host another art show entitled Global Perspectives, Social Responsibility and Local Identity by Chenery Middle School. The show runs from now until March 31st. Gallery at BMC is located in Belmont Media Center at 9 Lexington Street, across the street from Belmont Car Wash and Waverly Bus Stop. The gallery is open between noon and 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, and noon to 5 p.m. on Saturday. We are here with art teachers from Chenery Middle School Art Department. Katie, tell me about um, this show. Um, well, the show that we have right now is called Global Perspective, Social Responsibility, and Local Identity. Um, and it's a depiction of basically what we do in the art department at Chenery Middle School, which is um, we work with the students to develop big ideas th through their art. So they're learning all the art skills that are in our curriculum. In addition, we have another layer of our curriculum, which is developing big ideas and social awareness through their art. Um, exploring concepts like identity um, and also sort of different social social um, aspects of the curriculum too. So the show is a depiction of that. We um, have some some pieces in the show that are about group work. Um, so you know it's not just a, a an art piece of art, but it's also the process of working as a team to synthesize ideas and um, so. You know, we have a few pieces that are that are kind of like that too. Can you can you give us an example about how that idea develops um, to introduce the social responsibility and local identity? Sure. So um, one example that we have in in the show are the um, the sandwiches, the clay sandwiches that we mm -hmm. have. Uh, again, that's the group work. Um, the students are working as a team. There is a team of four or five or some t in some cases six students who are um, working on the uh, and they come up with an idea for their sand clay sandwich and then they each work together to make components of the sandwich bringing the whole sculpture together as a team. Um, one example is there um, we have some relationship sculptures so those are two figures that are um, showing a relationship between one another so the students um, have to identify a relationship in their life mm -hmm. that um, or, or it, maybe even an observed relationship that they then are um, depicting two figures with clay three-dimensionally to show um, with their movement and their body language how they're how they're interacting with one another so um, that relationship uh, identifying with relationships as a big picture concept is something that's not always easy for middle school okay. students to do but it's literally taught in our classes via the medium of clay. So we're teaching all of the skills around figure proportion and around, you know, um, building, constructing with clay, but then they're also at a higher level, um, or not a higher level, but another level, um, <clears throat> teaching, we're teach, literally teaching students um, to be, so, you know, socially aware or, or interpersonally okay. aware. Inter so. guide them? So um, our curriculum is, um, the, our curriculum at the middle school level is something we're pretty proud of. We've worked really hard on um, coming up with, uh, together, the, the four art teachers, we've worked to synthesize um, exactly what we're going to be teaching in fifth grade for art skills okay. and um, in sixth grade for art skills, seventh grade, eighth grade. But in addition, um, we also have come up with bigger picture concepts that we're going to be covering at each of those levels. Okay. Now, how each of the teachers teaches those skills and those big picture thinking skills is up to them, so it's a little bit different in each case. So mm -hmm. in one of the pieces, the, the relationship sculptures, which you'll see in the show, um, those are one teacher, Ms. Libertini, is 
um, version of, of you know, figure proportion and relationship, you know, depicting relationships in, in mm -hmm. um, you know, through their art, art lessons. And then in another um, project in the show or another piece in the show, you'll see Ms. Burns has done um, some drawings, or her students have done some drawings of superheroes. And the superheroes mm -hmm. are, um, she has had them come up with some sort of social issue in society that, um, they identify with something that they feel powerful about, something that they feel um, like they would like to change if they could. Awesome. And so, again, she's teaching figure proportion. So students are learning figure proportion, but in a very different medium and with a totally different big idea. But we're all covering the same big ideas. We're all covering the same skills, just kind of synthesizing them in different ways. And mm -hmm. we have regular conversations together about what that's going to look like um, in our individual classroom. It's beautiful. It's very sophisticated. Thank, Thank you yeah. for doing that. Thanks. I want to take that art class, <laughs> Joy. <I'm laughs>